we welcome you at our YouTube channel, Jungle Book. On this channel, we bring multiple videos and stories for education development and entertainment purpose. Please remain with us. Current video is about the an venomous versus non-venomous snakes. Snake bite is one of the most neglected public health issues in poor rural communities living in the tropics. South Asia is the world's most heavily affected region, due to high population density, widespread agricultural activities, numerous venomous snake species, and lack of functional snake bite control programs. India has the highest number of deaths due to snake bites in the world with 35,000 to 50,000 people dying per year. In Pakistan, 40,000 bites are reported annually, which result in up to 8,200 fatalities. In Nepal, more than 20,000 cases of envenoming occur each year, with 1,000 recorded deaths. In Sri Lanka, Around 33,000 envenomed snake bite victims are reported annually from government hospitals. The number of different snake species found in subcontinent is estimated to be around 300, including about 67 front-fanged venomous species of the families Elapidae and Viperidae. There are two different types of snake bites. Dry bites. These occur when a snake doesn't release any venom with its bite. These are mostly seen with non-venomous snakes. Venomous bites. These are much more dangerous. They occur when a snake transmits venom during a bite. A widespread belief is that snake bites inevitably result in envenoming. However, Bites by non-venomous snakes are common and bites by venomous species are not always accompanied by the injection of venom, dry bites. Moreover, as symptoms associated with panic or stress sometimes mimic early envenoming symptoms, clinicians may have difficulties in determining whether envenoming occurred or not. It can be a lifesaver to learn the differences between venomous versus non-venomous snakes. While it can be difficult to tell upon first glance, the difference between these two snake types becomes clear after only a bit of study. 5 Key Differences Between Venomous versus Non-Venomous Snakes Venom one of the key differences between venomous versus non-venomous snakes is the presence of venom. It is obvious that venomous snakes have venom while non-venomous snakes don't, but this is a key distinction to make between these two types of snake. Non-venomous snakes can still bite and behave aggressively, often more aggressively than venomous snakes. However, they can't inject their prey or predators with venom. This may not make them safer to interact with, but it does make them less deadly than venomous snakes. Head shape. Venomous snakes often have a triangular shaped head, while non-venomous snakes have a more rounded head. However, non-venomous snakes can mimic venomous snakes as a defense mechanism flattening their heads to appear more triangular in nature. This can lead to some confusion, but venomous snake heads are very wide at the base, when their head meets their neck. Non-venomous snakes won't have the same width to their heads. Pupil shape and pits. Another easy difference between venomous versus non-venomous snakes is the shape of their pupils and the presence of facial pits. Venomous snakes have vertical pupils similar to cats' narrow slits that appear threatening. Non-venomous snakes have round pupils, filling out the entirety of their eyes. This is a very important distinction to make between venomous versus non-venomous snakes as there are very few exceptions to this rule. If you stumble upon a snake in the wild, Take the time to look at their eyes if it is safe to do so.
Another key distinction between venomous versus non-venomous snakes is the presence of pits on their face. Venomous snakes have unique holes in between their nostrils and eyes that allow them to detect slight temperature differences in prey. Non-venomous snakes do not have pits. Presence of a rattle. Venomous snakes can have a rattle on the end of their tails while non-venomous snakes will never have a rattle. However, not all venomous snakes have a rattle, it is meant to be an automatic tell rather than an absolute rule. Non-venomous snakes can also mimic the sound of a snake's rattle inside of their bodies. This is an important distinction to make between the two types of snakes. If you hear a rattle, always look for one on the end of the snake's tail, though hearing a rattle is a good sign to back off no matter the type of snake. Markings and color. The final key difference between venomous and non-venomous snakes is their markings and colorings. While there is no hard and fast rule, markings can help you identify whether or not a snake is venomous. Many non-venomous snakes are solidly colored, without very much brightness or distinct markings. Venomous snakes can be very vivid and distinct in their coloring and markings. However, this is not an absolute rule. There are many snakes, both venomous and non-venomous, that break this rule entirely. But if you happen to see a snake that is one solid and dull color, you may have stumbled upon a non-venomous. We hope this is an informative segment. Please like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.